Good morning, Darren from Vagabond Life. Welcome to the channel. Um, I realise it's been three or four weeks since um, we put out our last video and I apologise for that. Um, we've had quite a um, hectic time um, over the last few weeks um, and I'll explain that um, later in this video for you. Hi, I'm Darren. I'm Shelley. We've chosen early retirement and a life of freedom, adventure and the unknown. So for the next few years, we're going to be travelling around our beautiful country of New Zealand in our caravan and then at a later stage, some more overseas travel. So subscribe and come along with us as we embark on our next adventure. I just thought I'd make this um, quick video um, to show you a new toy we purchased about a month ago and um, haven't done a video on yet so um, we've been um, looking at these for quite some time or probably over the last 12 months really um, and finally we made the decision um, a month or so ago to purchase one um, which will help um, with our channel a bit <clears throat> and um, it will also enable us to um, maybe catch a few more fish so if you haven't already guessed <laughs> it's a drone so I'll show you what we bought so we have bought the Swell Pro Spry Plus drone um, it's a nice compact little unit uh, which is what we've always sort of talked about we, we really wanted something that um, you could chuck in a backpack and if you happen to be walking over to another bay or something to go for a swim you could just take it over with you without lugging a big um, carry case along so we wanted something quite small um, but the, what really struck us about this one is that it's fully waterproof so if you happen to crash it in the water or something happens um, it's going to be okay so and you can fly it in the rain and all of that sort of thing you don't have to worry about it um, and because we're going to be using it for carrying out a fishing line there's always the um, chance that something may happen and it may hit the water and um, and with this one it will be okay so that was a big selling point to us really um, and the other fact is that it's quite small and compact so you could chuck it in a backpack um, and cart it along with you quite easily without um, you know a big camera sort of hanging down below it and and becoming really sort of fragile this you know where this is um, you know, it's a pretty robust sort of thing. I've I've seen people crashing them into the water and bits and pieces, and um, they're absolutely fine. So, uh, for my flying skills, this is probably um, pretty good. Um, so it comes with um, obviously the carry case, which I'll show you. It comes with the with the nice hard carry case. Um, and it comes with a controller uh, which actually has the built in display on it so you, like a lot of the other ones you see you've got to put your, your phone in the top of them um, this comes with its own built in screen um, which is really really handy and obviously when you get home you can just wipe it down with a wet cloth and, and um, and clean it all up and make you know and it's yeah it's fantastic and you know if you happen to drop it it's not going to damage it too I wouldn't think it's pretty pretty solid and robust um, so it comes with um, obviously the carry case the controller um, two batteries um, and a charger what else does it come with oh, some spare um, propellers um, and uh, obviously your 
your plug for the charger and um, yeah that's probably about it I think um, we were really surprised actually it, it goes really well it, you know for a small drone um, the first time we took it out um, we took it to the beach and it was blowing quite a strong wind down the beach and I'm thinking oh my god I'm I'm gonna crash it and there goes a couple of thousand dollars um, but anyway we hooked the line up to it and um, and we flew it out probably 400 meters off the beach dropped the line and flew it home and um, it was absolutely fine so I was really impressed how it handles the wind um, it has got a built-in camera on the front of it um, it's obviously not uh, on a gimbal um, so you've got to be pretty smooth with your flying to get a good picture unfortunately it it has got a stabiliser built in to the camera but it's not on a gimbal so so when you take off to fly forward the drone automatically tilts to fly forward uh, and when you stop it will it'll level up um, and so that movement you will see in the camera um, but if you fly it along slowly or you pan it around or if you fly it in a circle around you so that it just drifts around sideways um, it is relatively smooth it's not not too bad um, and you can also take still photos with the camera as well so you could just hover it where you want to and take some some shots um, the camera itself it's a 4k um, video camera um, or it's a 12 megapixel still um, photo um, camera as well so um, it's actually the, the quality of the photos and, and footage is actually pretty good um, what else can I tell you about it the batteries just go into here that's the battery there. Um, it comes with two batteries uh, and they last about 15 minutes so each. Um, so when we were filming with it, uh, uh, sorry when we were taking our line out we were flying it out maybe I don't know 300, 300 meters, 400 meters from the beach we got uh, I think we got four, <coughs> four attempts like four um, takeouts with it um, before it came up with an alarm on the screen that it was low battery um, and it vibrates the controller as well <clears throat> um, so then it was just a matter of flying at home and landing it and swapping the batteries over and then you, you've got another sort of four attempts you know four takeouts as well um, the uh, SD card just goes in the slot and underneath the battery there um, so you can record all your footage and photos to SD card, um, your micro SD card and then bring them home and just put them in the computer and see exactly what you've been filming for the day and and print off photos or whatever you want to do. Um, that's obviously the GPS part of it. Um, so it will, it is really easy to control. Um, when you take off it'll just hover, you just lift it up and it'll just hover where you leave it. Um, and then you can fly it out to wherever you want and you can either um, fly it back manually or um, you can push the return to home on your controller um, and it'll just fly back to exactly where you are or where the controller is, it'll fly back and then it'll just come down and land itself wherever you are so that function is fantastic yeah um, it's also got a circle mode on it, let me have a look at this, and get my glasses on <clears throat> it's also got a circle flight um, switch put it to that and it'll just circle around you um, so you can um, turn on the video camera which is here or take um, photos which is just a, a quick push and it'll take a photo um, so yeah, you can put it on video, put it on circle flight um, and it'll just fly around you and take some footage of wherever you are. 
um, it also has a follow me mode which is on this side um, you can push that and it'll just follow you wherever you go whether you're walking or push biking or rowing and you know paddling in the kayak or whatever um, it'll just do all of that that sort of stuff too so um, there's plenty of tutorials and stuff on YouTube about the controls and how they fly and all that sort of stuff so if you're interested just just look up the Swell Pro site um, and it's the Spry drone um, Spry Plus I think it's called um, so there's plenty of footage on there on how to do all that way better than I can show you so um, yeah if you're interested go and have a look at those um, yeah so there's probably not a lot else I can tell you about it but it's a great toy um, we're really happy with with how it goes and it, it certainly takes our our line out really well uh, I've caught two fish with it so far and both of them have been in the first drop um, they've only been a couple of small kawai um, so we've just sort of let them go um, but it was fish that I wouldn't have caught before if I was just casting from the beach so um, yeah I was quite impressed really um, and yeah I tend to be a bit more of a gentlemanly fisher anyway these days I can't be bothered um, getting up at five in the morning to go fishing so um, yeah it's more sitting on the beach and enjoying the enjoying the day and, and having, sitting there having a cup of coffee and, and um, if you catch a fish it's a real bonus but if you don't well you've had a nice morning on the beach so um, yeah that's sort of my <laughs> tends to be my motto these days but hopefully we will still get some fish as well so um, yeah so that's sort of our new toy um, I'll end this video um, um, by just sort of letting you know what's been going on over the last few weeks so as some of you may be aware um, um, Shelley's father um, and my father-in-law um, has been unwell for the last oh, quite some time really um, he's had lung cancer and um, for the last probably six months uh, Shelley and her sister have been taking it in turns looking after him for a few days a week and then changing over um, so there was always someone with him um, because he was living on his own at 90 years old <laughs> um, yeah un unfortunately um, it did eventually catch up with him and um, about two weeks ago he passed away so consequently that's why we haven't been putting out um, any videos um, and we've been concentrating on um, funeral arrangements and bits and pieces um, so I'd just like to dedicate this video to Roy um, it's been an absolute pleasure I'm glad that you were finally able to be back with Helene and um, until we meet again